Okay, <clears throat> so the last topic of shear flow, that's not going to be on the test. And also this topic uh, of pressure, <clears throat> the stress in thin walled pressure vessels, not going to be on the test, uh, but don't tune me out just yet. Um, I'll real briefly uh, just mention this, <clears throat> that for, we're going to look at cylinders and spheres that are pressurized. If there's pressure in the middle of them, the pressure is kind of pushing uh, you know, all the way, everywhere, perpendicular to the tank, to the surface. And if it's thin walls, then there's, there's nowhere for that pressure to go except in two directions outward. And so it creates tension in the, the, the wall of that pressure vessel. I think that makes sense uh, to you. And so when, when we say thin walls, we're talking about something that the radius is much, much larger than the thickness of the wall. Uh, uh, an order of magnitude, so at least 10 times larger than the thickness. So if this ratio of radius to uh, thickness is greater than 10, we'll say it's a thin wall pressure vessel. And for thin wall pressure vessel, <clears throat> just real quickly, it'll have two, it'll cause two types of stresses, two tensions in the wall. Uh, for a cylinder, uh, we've got hoop stress that is tangent to the radius. It's right here. This is the hoop stress. Uh, and we've got this longitudinal stress, which is along the axial direction. And <clears throat> real briefly, we'll just say that the normal stress, the hoop stress, tangent to the radius, is equal to PR over T, the pressure times the radius divided by the thickness. Um, and so this sigma 2 is equal to PR over 2T, the pressure times the radius divided by 2 divided by the thickness. Uh, and so why might that be helpful to find? I mean, helpful, helpful to find, hey, what stress is in my um, pressure vessel uh, due, to the, due to the pressure? So maybe what stress so I can figure out, hey, what, how might I need to bolt these? How might I need to, you know, glue these, weld these together uh, so that it can withstand any of these pressures uh, that, it, that it might have due to the, sorry, any of these stresses that it might have due to the pressure inside. Uh, that was for a cylindrical pressure vessel. For a spherical pressure vessel, then it only has one stress, the PR over 2T in both directions. It's kind of like a sigma 2, like a longitudinal stress of PR over 2T. And so you could look at these, you look, look in the book, the book uh, explains it. Look at, you know, Structure Free, I think, explains it. Uh, but I, the, I don't normally teach this, even though I pro probably should make some videos. We probably do have time. I don't have the uh, energy to go back and uh, uh, teach this. Uh, but you can look at the, the types of problems that we're, we're looking at. Uh, determine the pressure. If it, if it can't have a longitudinal stress that it sees 20 KSI, um, compare spherical at versus uh, cylindrical pressure vessels. Uh, we could look at this and kind of look at, hey, what type of joints do we need here uh, so that the it can withstand this gauge pressure of 2 PSI. Uh, so some interesting problems, uh, but sorry that we won't, uh, we won't hit on those. Uh, we won't be tested on those. So we'll just move on. <clears throat>